Hello everyone. Welcome back to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial video series. When you install our app and have our default layout theme, you can easily change the display of the product items elements on collection pages such as title, vendor, price, and so on, by accessing default theme settings. From the app dashboard, navigate to the theme tab in the menu bar. Then, choose default theme settings. Here is a side note. These settings only works with our default theme. The default theme is generated because our app has detected that your current theme isn't available in our library yet. If your store doesn't use default theme, the default theme settings will not be visible. Click here to know more about default theme. Inside default theme settings, there are two tabs, general and product item. Let's go to the general tab first. This is where you access all settings of the page layout types, along with the collection header and toolbar. The preview section on the right of the page is for display purposes only, reflecting how your storefront will change on desktop and mobile. You can try changing the types of page layout. There are two options, box and full width. Next, let's turn to display collection and search page header. You can show or hide collection image and collection description, and change these color fields as you wish. Now, let's edit the toolbar. You can show or hide view as, product count, and sort by on desktop or mobile, and change view as type. Play around with these settings to see how they affect your storefront. That's all for the general tab. Move to the next tab, product item. This tab allows you to access all settings of product list and product item. Inside, there are four sub tabs, listing, detail, swatch settings, and product label. The preview section on the right of the page illustrates how your storefront will look on desktop and mobile. The setting in the listing tab is to define the way each product item and image is shown on the storefront, along with the number of products per row or page. There are some settings of product item you can adjust, including default type, image layout, and text alignment. The preview section reflects how the storefront changes correspondingly. Below, you can show or hide the information on the storefront, like product vendor, price, review, details when hovering, and image swap when hovering. Next is product image. The aspect ratio setting is to decide the preferred size that all product images should look like. You can freely set the image size by selecting the manual ratio option and crop image position to the appropriate place. The product list setting is to define how many products are displayed per page, per row on desktop and mobile. Please be noted that there is no preview for the product list setting. Let's move to the second sub tab. Detail. Here, you can change the color, font, size, and text transform of the product title. Do similar to customize the product vendor, product price, and product description. The third sub tab is swatch settings. Turn on the show item swatch toggle to show product option swatch when you are hovering it. Tick the show swatch name when hovering box if you want to display it, and untick if you don't. Choose how the product image changes when users are interacting with the swatch icons. Below, there are many swatch by options. For example, choose swatch by color here and choose the swatch shape you want. The swatch names appear when I am hovering the swatch icons because I tick the show swatch name when hovering box. When I untick it, the swatch names disappear. Swatch by image is usually applied for products that have special colors instead of basic ones. Besides, you can choose other options like swatch by product images to display all product variant images as swatches. Or swatch by text to display the value of product options, usually applied for size. Then, you can also change the color of the text. The final sub-tab is product label. Here you can set the position and types of all labels, including sales label and sold out label. Tick the box show sale label to display this label and edit its display. You can display it by text, sale percentage, or image. Do similar to edit the display of the sold out label. What's more, you can create your own label by tag and show it on the storefront. Tick the enable custom label by tag box. 
Click here to see how to create a custom label by tag. Then you can go back to the default theme setting to change the color of this label. Now you've already known how to use the default theme settings. Thanks for your watching. Reach us at our email displayed on the screen if you need any further assistance. Don't forget to subscribe our channels, or follow us on our social platforms for more updates. Thank you.